before the breath kiss me no when you love each other you don't care mm, I, i'll always care about that <laughs> when you get up go and freshen up it, it takes two minutes to brush your teeth fellas if your girl's got morning breath and it's so bad you can't even respond then just play her this song your breath stinks just shut up <laughs> You're a victim. Mm. A real man would never watch his woman pay for anything. If she's really feeling you, she will lower those standards until you meet them. Women only make rules for guys that they don't like. They make nothing but exceptions for the guys that they do. So if she got you jumping through hoops trying to get her attention, I'm sorry to say, but she not really feeling you like that. He's saying it in a funny way, but he's spitting facts. It's the same thing as when an attractive man approaches a woman, she doesn't mind. When an ugly guy does it, he's creepy. Women change the rules depending on the man. The important thing is, is for you as a man to have self-respect and not pander to a woman just because you think she's better than you and you think that's gonna get her. And even if you do get her through pandering or spending loads of money on her, she's never gonna truly respect you. Men have got to stop believing that women are looking for the man who's gonna love them the most. If women were looking for the man who's gonna love them the most, the most beautiful women in the world would be with the ugliest guys in the world. One last question. What was the first thing you noticed about me? Be honest. Completely honest, because your ick was honesty. Are they real? I mean, she did ask him to be completely honest, and that's what she got. She was in a video a couple of videos back, and she still don't know how to put a jacket on. I'll never understand how you as a guy can go 50-50 on a date. Because girls spend so much money on their hair, their nails, their wigs. Their maintenance is so expensive. So why are you going 50-50 when you can make them pay for everything since they clearly have enough money to fund this lifestyle? It's facts! It's facts! It's facts! It's facts! It's facts! Less than 24 hours after buying the Mega Millions Quick Pick ticket at AM, PM Convenience in Hyannis, the Cape Cod local is $30.5 million richer. I didn't know what to do. I dropped the ticket, my mom picked it up, she started reading it and... She had to read it a few times to like figure out like that we actually won. I was oh no. And he's getting the last laugh after recently getting dumped. She broke up with me, but right now I'm not really worried about it. I was heartbroken at first, but now I'm I'm getting over it. <laughs> Sensational. I was heartbroken at first, but now I'm getting over it. Yeah, I fucking bet you are. How much you wanna bet she tried to get him back as well? I'll tell you what, they say money don't buy happiness, but 30 million helps. Y'all get mad because now we're getting money, but I mean- We're not getting we're... mad. Are you sure? Yeah, we're not getting mad. You're not? No. Then how come if I... anything, I want you so to have question. money. Let's bring two, like, two incomes is better than one okay. in the household. Most men don't give a shit about how much money a woman earns. That's not something that crosses a man's mind usually when he first meets a woman. How many men do you see that are gold diggers? And that's also because a rich woman won't give a poor man a chance, but a rich man will give a poor woman a chance. Men don't care about your money. Men pick women based upon what? Their looks and what they have to offer. No, their looks and their body. That's where it starts. Yeah. So... On the scale, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". Dress size? About four. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 160. Uh, if you had to rank yourself on a scale from zero to 10, you can't use seven. Fresh face out of the shower, your hair, what would you give yourself? I know you don't consider Beyonce to be a 10, okay? Nope. <laughs> but I consider Beyonce to be a 10. I, I don't care. I consider Jessica Alba to be a 10. I would rank myself at a 9. In nobody's life are you a 9. I, I Especially not, you're a 6. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting less and less attracted and like turned on by girls at clubs on socials just throwing it back in drunk all the time because it's like the girls you actually want are the ones at home working or just chilling at home not throwing it back online nice. not putting their ass everywhere not going and showing off to all the men at the club just trying to get all the attention it's like the good ones they're like in hiding bro you smart perfect Bro playing COD during the birth of his child. Now as you can imagine, there's a lot of angry women in the comments saying, Oh my god, he's terrible, what a terrible man. Those women have probably never experienced childbirth, because I tell you what, childbirth can last f***ing hours. And sometimes the women get pissed off, they don't want you near them. He's probably had time as well to go home, get changed, have a shower, and set that shit up. The most important thing is, is that he's there for her. And I'm sure if she wasn't happy with him doing that, she'd tell him. You better make sure, in the next season of your life, that the person who walked away from you know what they're missing.
Hey. Why are you calling me? Oh, I'm, I'm, it's kind of late and it's like super dark and I'm walking my dog right now. I'm like really scared. You kind of came up on my mind. <laughs> well, you're with your dog, so why are you calling me? You got your dog. Oh, oh shit! Hello, you sound stupid. What just happened? You sound dumb. Whatever you're doing, you're dumb. So you weren't gonna see if I was okay? I'm more concerned about the dog, to be honest. You're... that's... <laughs> Do you know what the issue is? You're a very attractive girl, but... All that is going through my head is my ex. Excuse me, a what? Who walks into a date thinking about their ex? A lot of fucking people, a lot of people are going on dates to try and get over their ex, to try and forget, and obviously you didn't make them forget. Bruv, surely this can't be real. This has got to be a skit or something. There's no way that she's just gone up to him with a note and he's just blowing his nose with it. I knock her out. Would you sell your girlfriend for a cheeseburger? That is a stupid question, isn't it? Obviously. Guess what, y'all? I saw the guy that ghosted me. Not once, but twice. Saturday night. It's been the first time I've seen him in three months. Last that I checked, he blocked me on every platform. Got to the club, the place that we met, and he was one of the first guys that I fucking saw, but he didn't see me, thank God, so I had to try to swerve around him. I'm enjoying the night, but like 30 minutes in, I get a tap on my shoulder and it's fucking him. I'm like, why are you trying to talk to me? You blocked me on everything. This man basically goes to say why he blocked me, and he did have a valid point. So the entire night, he's basically around me, and then at one point, he asked me to dance with him, and I do dance with him. I was going to an after party afterwards, and he was going to come, but that didn't end up working out. The next day, I text him and I ask him if he's going to see me. I'm going to leave that off at just saying everything that I've been preaching here for the past three months, I went against in the past 48 hours for this man to tell me for the third time he doesn't want me. I mean, you're a Muppet. You fell for the same trick twice. And I'll tell you exactly what he's probably doing. You're like second or third choice. So when he's got the girl that he actually wants texting him and wants to see him, he doesn't give a shit about you. But when he's out in the club, he's had a few drinks and you're there and he knows you're an easy option, he's going to go for you. Why are you sat on TikTok live? Why are you filming as well, the whole thing? You saw on the left are quite nice, to be fair. You're on the right side as well. Wait, we got any more workers? Now, I can't lie, I do find HS Tiki Talkie entertaining. For those who don't know, he's a TikToker from England. He got quite famous from approaching girls, doing videos about fitness. And a lot of the time, he's just joking, he's taking the piss. But this one, for me, this was a bit too much of a violation. You don't have to like the girl, you don't have to say nothing nice to the other girl. You ain't got to diss her either, bruv. You're giving you excuses. You're giving excuses for what you did. There's no reason why if you meet me, I need to start being open to your trauma. No one asked you to deal no, with... Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. No one asked you to deal with guys that were going to give you trauma. Now you expect me to be a... a to be some type of therapist. I'm the man. That's not my job as a, to be a therapist to fix guys that you shouldn't have got with in the first place. I think it's quite, you're putting things onto men that men don't actually need to deal with. I'm just supposed to be a good man. Yeah, just to make it clear, he's basically saying if I first meet a woman and she's going on about all the bad experiences she's had with men before, she can't trust anybody now because of what's happened to her before. That's not his responsibility to be the therapist and he's got a point. If you just met a woman and all she's talking about is her past issues and her past relationships, then she's not ready for a relationship. And she belongs to the streets. 